Hello everyone, Dark Chains here and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. We continue our journey through Fallout 4. Hold up, Knight. Let me make one thing clear. As a member of the Brotherhood, you serve under my command. If you want my respect, you will have to earn it. When I give you a mission, I expect results. Is that clear? Perfectly. Good. I want you to take charge of a recovery operation. The Brotherhood has been monitoring the Commonwealth for some time now. Ever since we learned of the Synth threat, we've dispatched a number of reconnaissance teams. Paladin Dance's squad was far from the first. The previous team was dispatched three years ago. They never reported back. Officially, they're missing. Presumed dead. Paladin Brandis's team. I found them. What happened to them? Paladin Brandis was the only survivor. Brandis, what happened to him? I convinced him to return to the Brotherhood. Well done. It may be difficult for him to adjust to life in the Brotherhood again, but his experience should serve us well. Very well. Is there anything else? Do you want their holotapes? Thank you. I'll see that they make it to their next of kin. How will the Brotherhood remember them? They faced their mission with courage. They fought with honor against overwhelming odds. They lived and died together as brothers. That is what it means to be a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. That's all. I'll prepare a full report for the Elder. In the meantime, allow me to offer you a new suit of armor. Bear it with distinction. This was no easy mission, Knight. Well done. Now, I have a more pressing matter that requires your attention. I've received reports that supplies have been disappearing from our supply depot at the airport. I suspect this may be an inside job. An inside job? Do you have any suspects? This is treason we're talking about. In a case like this, you are either sure or you are not. Until then, everyone is a suspect. I want you to take charge of this investigation. Report to Knight Sergeant Gavel at the base. He commands our logistics division. He can familiarize you with his unit and the depot. Beyond that, you have leave to conduct your investigation as you see fit. Report your findings directly to me. Is that clear? Is there anything else I should know? Gavel will fill you in on the details. But from my perspective, the strangest thing is what was stolen. Rations. Only rations. I don't know what to make of it, but it is curious. Any other advice, Captain? Follow every lead. Look for anything suspicious, no matter how minor. But understand, treason is a serious charge. If someone in the Brotherhood is responsible for this, I need proof before I can act. Do I need to keep my investigation a secret? It's too late for that. Rumors have already begun to spread. Sergeant Gavel and his team will be expecting you. But that only makes your task more difficult. Whoever is doing this will have had time to prepare. Yes, sir. I expect results. See that I get them. Dismissed. Adjusting compression rate. 
Attention all personnel. I'm disappointed I need to address this, but unsanctioned social contact with Commonwealth natives is strictly prohibited. Yes. Anyone who has engaged in such fraternization should report to Night Captain Kate for immediate Captain, decontamination. If you're here to talk me into working on liberty, that is all. you can forget it. What changed your mind? Nothing changed my mind. I promised you I'd return to the Brotherhood, and I've kept my end of the bargain. Do I need to remind you why you made that promise in the first place? No, that won't be necessary. Tell Proctor Ingram to get her scribes ready. It's going to take a hell of a lot of work to get Liberty Prime back online, but we'll get it done. Do you believe this of replacing humans with exact duplicates it makes me sick? Hail. Night. Sergeant? Let me guess. Captain Kell sent you? That's right. Well, let's take this somewhere more private. Follow me. We've converted this section of the terminal into our primary supply depot. Everything the Brotherhood needs to operate passes through here. Supplies from the Pridwin, salvage from the field, we handle it all. Access is strictly limited to the logistics detail. And we track every crate, every bullet, every bolt that comes through that door. Which is why I don't take kindly to these accusations. I know every soldier in this unit. The thought that anyone would question their loyalty makes me sick. If you've got questions, ask. Otherwise, stay out of our way. Where should I begin my investigation? You shouldn't. This is a waste of time. I've already spoken with my men. They haven't seen anything. Tegan's scribes just fouled up the books again. If you insist on questioning someone, go bother Lucia or Clark. I can spare them. Lucia and Clark? Knight Lucia and Initiate Clark. They were just posted to this detail a few weeks ago. They're still learning their way around, but I'll have them in shape soon enough. If you have to badger someone with your questions, it might as well be them. Tell me about the missing supplies. We're down over 20 crates, if you believe the scribes. All food, dried meat, Instamash, mac and cheese. It doesn't make sense. I could see someone stealing weapons or tech, but our thief goes to all this trouble for a lifetime supply of cram. Tell me about the logistics division. I've been in charge of this unit for almost 10 years now. We're a small group. We stick together. And we keep the Brotherhood running. That's all for now, Sergeant. Take my advice. Poke around a little. Then tell the Captain to let it go. It's not worth your time or mine. You hear about the thefts, right? Look, I already told Sergeant Gavel everything I know. You already spoke with Gavel? He questioned the entire unit. None of us saw anything. Look, I want to get to the bottom of this as much as anyone. What do you want to know? What's the security situation here like? We're in the middle of a hardened military base under constant guard. Nothing's getting in or out of here without us knowing about it. You really think the base is that secure? I do. I mean, I've heard about the Institute's relay, 
But even if they could get in, they'd never make it back out. Tell me about the missing supplies. I really don't know anything. I've heard the rumors same as everyone else. But that's all. What rumors have you heard? Well, they say raiders with stealth boys hit the terminal every night. That supplies disappear faster than we can bring them in. It's a lot of garbage. I usually work the night shift. Believe me, the only thing you risk dying of is boredom. Tell me about the logistics unit. There are what, ten of us now? Something like that. Our division reports to Proctor Teagan, up on the Pridwin. Sergeant Gavel handles day-to-day -day operations. He's run logistics for years. Other than the sergeant, there's Lucia, me, the scribes, and a few other knights who aren't fit for field duty. Lucia? Excuse me. Knight Lucia. We joined the Brotherhood together. She'll probably get assigned to a patrol team soon. Me? I'll still be stuck here. That's all, Initiate. Knight? Copper wire. Could you tell me where... Oh, I'm sorry, I don't think we've met. Knight Lucia, logistics. What can I do for you, Knight? Do you have time for some questions? Oh. You must be here about the missing supplies. I'm not sure I can be of much help, but, um... What do you want to know? What's the security like around here? It's tight. At least two knights and a scribe on duty at all times. And we've got the entire base right here. We don't have much to worry about. Is there any way to get past all that security? Hmm. Well, you'd have to be in logistics. We're the only ones authorized to bring supplies in or out. Then what? Well, there's no way you'd get a full crate of supplies off base. With all the patrols, someone would notice. But why steal anything in the first place? The Brotherhood provides everything we need. No one here has any connection to the Commonwealth. I don't know. None of this makes any sense. Do you know anything about the missing supplies? Not really. I've heard it's mostly food and, um, vacuum tubes? No, sorry, they just lost those. You lost some vacuum tubes. How often are supplies lost around here? Someone had just filed them in the wrong place, apparently. Clark found them the next day. A little things do happen, but it never amounts to much. The sergeant may complain, but Proctor Teagan and his scribes are very thorough. One or two crates, maybe, but not this many. What's it like working in logistics? It's not a bad post. Sergeant Gavel is tough, but I've learned a lot from working here. I guess some people take to it and some don't. Like Clark. What about Clark? We joined the Brotherhood around the same time, about two years ago. We've always been friends. Well, until recently. Why? What happened? It was, uh... It was after the battle. The battle? Battle for the airport. It was our first real combat mission. It was something to see. The Pridwin coming in under full vertebrate escort. Guns blazing. We were one of the first teams to hit the ground. Dozens of ferals. We opened fire and cut them down. And hunted the ones that tried to run. It was everything I had hoped for. But Clark... He hasn't been the same since. It's like he's just given up. Since then, I've noticed him slipping off by himself once or twice a day. I never thought much of it, but do you think you could follow him? See what he's doing? His shift should be over in a few minutes. Maybe it's nothing, but I'm worried about him. All right, that's it for today. Don't despair, sister. We're here to save the Commonwealth. If you're done here, clear out. Look, I'm off duty. What are you doing out here? 
I'm just out for a walk, Initiate. Don't sneak up behind me like that. This place is bad enough. I'm gonna head back in a few minutes. Don't wait up. Inspiration to us all, Knight. Do us proud.
Come out. Hey, Clark. What are you doing down here? 
What's going on here, Clark? Ugh. Someone was bound to catch me eventually. I can't keep this up forever. Keep what up? Stealing food. I'm in logistics. No one even questioned me when I took them out of the terminal. I've been bringing them down here at night to feed the ghouls. It's been working. So far. What do you mean, it's been working? Why are you doing this? It's a long story. I had a friend who was a ghoul once. As human as you or me. But the Brotherhood... The Brotherhood says ghouls are abominations. They all deserve to die. Would you kill him, too? Just because of who he is? Was he a feral? What difference does it make? Weren't they all human once? I joined the Brotherhood two years ago. In all that time, I never doubted our beliefs. Never questioned them. But during the battle for the airport, the ghouls, they just kept coming. I... I killed... I don't even know how many. They started running away. But we... We kept going. I killed them. I killed them all. What did you expect? You knew what the Brotherhood stood for. But I didn't. Not really. Not until that moment. After the battle. I... I needed some time to think. I found this place. And the ghouls. What could I do? Report it, and they'd all be killed. Ignore them, and they'd attack the base. I thought, if I brought them food, maybe they'd just stay down here. There wouldn't have to be any more killing. Do you... Do you think I did the right thing? Do you? I... I don't know anymore. What are you gonna do with them? What do you think we should do? Just... Just let them be. So long as they stay here, they aren't hurting anyone. They're a threat to the base. They have to be destroyed. No! No, I won't just stand by and let you kill them. Not again. Stand down, Initiate. That's an order. I... I... Yes, Knight. And... And what about me? You should turn yourself in. I suppose so. The captain will never understand. But... It's the honorable thing to do. I might respect that, at least. I... I need a few minutes to get my thoughts together. Go on ahead. The elevator's in the next room. You can use my keycard. I'll be up soon.
I go and turn in the quest. I've just received word from Sergeant Gavel. Initiate Clark has made a full confession. I gather we have you to thank for it. Clark has been taken into custody, and I've dispatched a patrol team to secure the ruins. I don't think I could have asked for a better outcome. I have some caps for your service. Also, I'd like you to have a piece of armor from my personal collection. Wear it well, Knight. There is another matter we need to discuss. Virgil, as long as that abomination lives, he's a threat to the Brotherhood. The time has come to deal with him. Virgil is no longer a super mutant. His cure worked. He's no threat to us. What? That, that thing actually found a cure? Hmm. He can't be trusted. But as a human, he's trapped in the glowing sea. Maybe he can still be an asset to us. All right, we'll continue to monitor him. For now. For your service, allow me to offer you a new helm for your power armor. Wear it with pride. You've earned my respect, Knight. Not many can say that. Carry on. Ad victorium. Attention. Delta Team Lead, report to the bridge. Delta Team Lead to the bridge. Proctor Ingram. Well, things are off to a good start. Isn't that right, Doctor? I hope so. Prime suffered some significant damage to his memory core. I wish your people would have been a bit more careful, Proctor. The good news is that the damage isn't irreversible, and I should be able to get the power flowing into his CPU core without overloading. If your people stay out of my way, that is. Charming, isn't she? Did we make a mistake asking her to help? Nah, don't worry about it. We might not be best buddies, but we'll get the job done. Besides, Dr. Lee's worth all the aggravation. We're working with one of Prime's original designers. I don't see it getting any better than that. In fact, since things are going so well, we're gonna have you start building his electromagnetic actuators. What do the actuators do? Pretty simple, really. The actuators are what allows Liberty Prime's arms and legs to move. Prime's new limbs are way too heavy for the simple hydraulic pistons he had in the past. We're gonna have to rip those out, construct a brand new system using electromagnets, and install them in its limbs. What we need you to do is build the actuators for us. Now that you know what the actuators are, you need to know how to make them. These are the plans and the materials list. Don't lose them. Now before you get that look on your face, you'll be happy to know that we have plenty of the raw materials on that list right here at the airport. The only thing we need you to head out and find is a high-powered magnet. According to Proctor Quinlan, the best place to find one is in any of the ruined hospitals around the Commonwealth. We've already sent out a few teams to find the rest of the high-powered magnets you'll need. They should be back by the time you return. Once you start building the actuators, we need one for each limb, so you'll need to make a total of four. Good luck.
And that is the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to get more notifications on this Fallout 4 journey.